the canon EOS. Oh, uh, you know, no one knows how to say that, by the way. If you watch a lot of videos, uh, people are like, the canon EOS are. <laughs> Speak, speak as well. Speak as well. E-O-S, yes. The cow goat mode. Yeah, yeah. So the original name, E-O-S, is a god. It's like a god of uh, cameras. And really? the way Ios? I- Ios? Eos? Eos. Eos. The way you pronounce it, and the people from Canon even made a video on this, is how do you pronounce it? It's Eos. And the modern Greek way of pronouncing it would be with a bit of a step up on the second syllable, so Eos. Eos. And I say modern Greek because the Ionic or Homeric Greeks would have you pronouncing it as like Eos or Heos, but Eos is fine. And in case you don't believe me, here's a clip of the president and COO of Canon USA pronouncing it Eos. Eos 5D Mark II. Eos our system. The Eos. It's one word. E-O-S. E-O-S-R-P. First of all, who the hell is Canon to name their camera after a god? <laughs> Well, but what does Nikon have? Nothing like a gun. Letters. Yeah, D60 something. But anyway, aren't don't they have other EOS styling before this camera? The the name EOS was on everything. It just wasn't used. This is the first camera to use it in the name. Because, right, I remember like the Canon EOS Rebel 14 yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Right. EOS was in all of them. Yeah, yeah it's like the range of they cameras. They have a God complex. Goodness it's totally, gracious. But they're finally using it in the name. So I've been lucky enough uh, to have my friends at B&H have lend me an EOS, E-O-S-R. <laughs> <laughs> so just say it like that. Okay, so one of the things that I've... Uh, uh, found super interesting is when this camera came out a year ago everybody hated it mm-hmm. it was like i didn't even take a look at the camera and and hated it was this was this one of the cameras that i bashed before my new no bash policy or is it yeah was we it, both did okay we're, we're like it doesn't have this it doesn't have that and a lot of reviewers of course are youtubers that use a lot of high-end cameras and I was surprised, yeah, it was a little expensive, but that they didn't focus on who this camera re- really was perfect for. Mm-hmm. And I'll talk about that in a second. But it's funny how I jumped on the, the Bash bandwagon without ever seeing the camera or mm-hmm. <laughs> touching it. And uh, most of the things I thought were stupid were the little slidey bar in the back, which everyone kind of agrees they hate, including me. But that wasn't enough to make this camera terrible. Okay. So, um, so you're you're sounding like you're having hate remorse. Oh, totally. Uh, It is a really freaking amazing camera. It's a great camera. The problem with the camera is it hasn't caught up to what, I mean, Sony has made three, four iterations of their mirrorless. mm -hmm. And so what I feel like Canon did with this camera was they kind of finally, they, they, they made it a Canon. It feels totally like a Canon. That's really amazing. But it seems like some of the ideas they had to just put out there. They had to release the camera, including that slidey bar. I feel like if they had developed that more, it probably could have been better. So what is the use of the slidey bar? The slidey bar is a multi... <laughs> yeah, good luck with that one. Well, this is called the multifunctional bar. And their idea was that you can program it. It has a left and a right. Mm-hmm. And you can uh, touch it and slide it. You can increase and decrease. So it's one of those like virtual buttons mm. that Apple has, like what they change their home button to. The problem is your your thumb rests around that area. So you mm. tap it by accident and it c- gets activated. So what you end up doing is deactivating it. That's number one. Um, and they, they added an option where you could long press it to like activate it. It's just not usable. I, I get where they were going. They were trying to innovate it. And that's why I, why I feel that they said, let's go with the touch bar. We need this camera out the door already. Okay. And uh, that's, what, that's what I feel happened. But I just find that um, wh- where do you back button focus if that thing is right there? Uh, excellent point. And that's why I mean that they... That's why I feel like they kind of just released it. Like the back button focus, if you if you shoot on a Nikon uh, 850 or a 5D Mark IV, the back button is very comfortable. Mm-hmm. Uh, here, you hold it and you kind of have to move your mm-hmm. thumb to the right. You see that? Where the slidey bar is, that's where the back button should be. Right, where your normal finger rests when you're going to back button and focus with the AE or the AL, yeah. AL button. So Weird. I know. And that, that really is the main thing to bash on this camera. And the second thing that everyone bashed it for uh, generally was its video features. The 4K super crop? Yeah, it crops in 4K. It doesn't have IBIS. 
Uh, it I feel like it didn't have 24p when it first came out. People it, were like, Wait. it didn't. It made yeah. a deal of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I think if you watch those reviews, that people don't know who this camera is for. This camera now is being sold for like 1700 and I feel <coughs> if Excuse I me. got this camera mm -hmm. like four or five years ago, it would be my take everywhere camera because it takes such amazing photographs and is so easy to uh, use the touchscreen and, and the, the experience of using a Canon touchscreen makes you not hate touchscreens. All the other cameras that have touch screens, it's just so clunky and weird. You, mm -hmm. You're like, why do they even put touch in this? Why bother? Yeah. Why bother? Totally. Right. And so I feel like swiping through pictures and even using, which I hate, focusing with a touch, mm -hmm. it works great. I noticed when I picked up the camera, it, it didn't feel uh, mirrorless. It felt DSLR bulky body-wise, and it still does. Could you see this being like just the only camera you as a, if you weren't a pro... The, the the camera you rock everywhere, you know. Not with this lens, though. No, no, no. This lens weighs like eighty pounds. <laughs> the lens on the camera is a fifty one point two. Yeah, yeah. This this that's the thing is so what what well going back to the bat. I'll talk about that in a second. Going back to the bashing, I feel what happened throughout the year is everyone bashed it at first when they reviewed it, and then people actually started using the freaking camera. Mm -hmm. And borrowing it and using it and putting it into their workflow, and they realize that the camera is freaking good. It's really good. I've seen a lot of YouTube after YouTube after YouTube saying, "Why not get this one?" I'm like, "Wait, wait, did you delete wait, your did old you video? Just, yeah. <laughs> because that's not what you said when it first was announced." Uh, I yeah, or, or switching from the Sony A7 III. Uh, some of the titles are like, I love this camera now. Mm -hmm. um, was I wrong about the R, R? The, the R? the R, how it should have been, right? Yeah. yeah I'm like, yeah. shut up, <laughs> clickbait jerks. <laughs> no, I totally get it. And I understand it. Uh, but now that I've used the camera, my, my kind of conclusion before my review comes out, it's not ready for primetime pro use, mm -hmm. but it is ready to be your family sort of so what's the uh so it's good for the family it, it's, it's good, good for, for travel it's good for probably the streets then no totally but, a little lens on it so my question to you is besides that hunking lens that's on there now what would be the ideal walk around lens they have a little 35 they okay. have a little tiny 35 that uh has image stabilization and okay. is a 1.8 there you go that's all you need and you can rock that for street um, and so I think it's, it's got a, gr a great sort of um, foundation. Would I buy this camera? Absolutely not because of the control bar. I need something a little bit better. So, so sans the little slidey bar. If it had a, the joystick like the RP does. The old, a new old joystick. This camera could be in, in another version or two. It could be a, a go-to for you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I am not selling my Canon glass because when you shoot with a Canon camera, the files have like a quality to them that is almost, especially if you shoot at 1.2, 1.8, it's almost like medium formatty filmish. Would I recommend this camera for 80% of the people? Hell yeah. And that's the thing is the YouTubers at the last year, a lot of them didn't say that. And what they're doing is now they're saying it. They're like, mm -hmm. this camera can totally this be the used. best camera I've ever used. <laughs> wait, wait, you told me to stay the hell away from it. I wouldn't say that, but... Um, I'm, I am going to say it's not ready for prime time because I've used it with flash and it has a very long delay mm -hmm. for, for playback. So if you want to like, Ooh, yeah. it's a two second wait to see what your flash did. So that's like delayed chimping. It's just, yeah. it's no good. And the other thing, the eye, the autofocus is great. It works just like the 5D Mark IV. If you're using a center focus one shot, mm -hmm. continuous and servo work fantastically. But the eye autofocus, uh, is hit or miss. I was using eye autofocus. And uh, some of the images didn't hit the eye 100% like the Sony. And also, um, it can't really see an eye. If the person is like a little bit to the side, it, it it's like face. Oh, it's a whole face. It's a whole face. It's a whole face. It's and then when you turn, it's like three, two. Oh, there's an eye. Give me. Give me. <laughs> give me eye. 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 You know eye, what I mean? Eye. 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 eye, yeah. eye. And then it's like, no eye. No eye. Face. <laughs> face. Face. Abort. Take the shot. Take the shot. Yeah, totally. So that's the Canon EOS. E O S R. <laughs> I'm gonna just call it that from now on. Oh my god! A great camera with some limitations, but please know who the camera is for. Mm.